Once in a remote village nestled amidst lush mountains, there lived a young monk named Koji. Koji was dedicated to the path of Zen Buddhism, striving for enlightenment and inner peace. However, he often found his mind clouded by impure thoughts and desires, disrupting his meditation and contemplation. Distressed by this inner turmoil, Koji sought the guidance of his wise and experienced master, Master Haruki, who was known for his profound understanding of the human mind. Koji approached Master Haruki one crisp morning, his eyes reflecting the struggle within, Master Haruki, with a serene smile, welcomed Koji and invited him to sit in the quiet garden adorned with cherry blossoms. The fragrance of the blossoms filled the air as Koji hesitated before pouring out his concerns about the impurity of his thoughts. Master Haruki listened attentively, his eyes closed as if absorbing the essence of Koji's words. When Koji finished speaking, Master Haruki opened his eyes and spoke, Koji, the mind is like a clear pool of water. When undisturbed, it reflects the beauty of the world around it. However, when stirred by the winds of desire and attachment, it becomes murky. To cleanse your thoughts, you must learn to still the waters of your mind, intrigued, Koji asked, but how, Master? How can I still the turbulent waters within me, Master Haruki replied, Come, Koji, let me share a tale with you, a story passed down through generations in our lineage. Once upon a time, in a distant land, there was a river that meandered through valleys and mountains. This river was known for its crystal clear waters, reflecting the azure sky above. Along its banks lived a community of monks who had mastered the art of stillness. These monks observed the river daily, learning profound lessons from its gentle flow. One day, a wise elder monk named Shinji gathered the novices and spoke, Our minds are like this river. To achieve clarity, we must emulate its stillness. The monks began a practice of sitting by the river each day, observing the waters flow without judgment or attachment. In time, they discovered that by allowing thoughts to come and go, like ripples on the water's surface, they could find inner calm. Shinji, noticing the progress of the novices, decided to challenge them further. He instructed each monk to release a leaf into the river, representing a distracting thought or desire. The monks watched as the leaves floated away, symbolizing the release of attachment. Koji, captivated by the story, asked Master Haruki, and did the monks find enlightenment through this practice? Master Haruki nodded and continued, Indeed, Koji. By observing the river, the monks learned the art of non-attachment. They understood that thoughts, like leaves, come and go. By not clinging to them, they allowed the river of their minds to flow freely, attaining a state of profound stillness. Inspired by the tale, Koji returned to his daily practice with renewed vigor. He decided to adopt the teachings of the wandering river into his own journey toward inner peace. Each day, Koji would sit in meditation by a serene pond within the temple grounds. As thoughts arose, he envisioned them as leaves floating away on the pond's surface. With time and patience, Koji began to experience moments of stillness, Glimpses of the tranquility he sought, Master Haruki observed Koji's progress and said, You are learning, my young disciple. The key is not to resist or fight against your thoughts but to let them flow like the river. In doing so, you will find the clarity you seek. Encouraged by his master's words, Koji delved deeper into his practice. He faced moments of difficulty, where the waters of his mind seemed turbulent and unyielding. Yet, with each challenge, he remembered the lessons of the wandering river and persevered. One day, after years of dedicated practice, 
Koji experienced a profound shift. As he sat by the pond, a sense of deep calm washed over him. The waters of his mind became clear, reflecting the stillness of the lotus blooms that graced the pond, Master Haruki, noticing the transformation in Koji, approached and said, You have discovered the art of releasing attachment, my dear disciple. Like the wandering river and the floating leaves, your thoughts no longer disturb the waters of your mind. You have found the stillness within, Koji bowed in gratitude, his heart filled with a newfound understanding. The journey to destroy dirty thoughts was not about eradication but about letting go. Allowing the natural flow of thoughts without becoming entangled by them, Master Haruki, with a twinkle in his eyes, concluded, Remember, Koji, the mind, like the river, is ever-changing. Embrace the ebb and flow of thoughts, and you will find the purity that lies beneath the surface. In stillness, the lotus of enlightenment blooms, and so, in the quiet temple nestled amidst the mountains, Koji continued his practice, embodying the wisdom of the wandering river and the stillness of the lotus blooms on his journey toward enlightenment. Thanks for joining us on our Buddhist and Zen story. If you found these tips helpful and want more insights on leading an inner peace life, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you valuable content. Stay well, and see you on the next video.